Hi, I'm Jojo Astrobardi, Queen of Stars. How are you? Welcome to your weekly horoscope. This week the sun is in Aries, so happy birthday to you. Aries, we love you. This is a new beginning for you this year. Wow, it all started with that new moon in Aries in March. So take advantage, move forwards, be daring. The moon will travel in the sign of Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Tuesday, we have a slightly chaotic full moon in the sign of Libra, which is usually just peace and love. But this week, it's sort of like a half and half connected with Uranus. U Uranus is the troublemaker. It just forces you to push the envelope a little bit. It brings some serious challenges in the political arena and even some of it in our own personal life. We just need to be better and we, we have the opportunity to make the changes now. The end also of this week will bring some a need for a progress progressive action somehow it's especially on friday yeah, people will be like in the mood to really be crusaders and fight for the right thing in, in life and i think that the statue of liberty will start smiling a little bit okay i think my beautiful american people are really doing what's right but it also has a bright side that, that is bringing us a feeling of completion and also for the next two weeks, it's an excellent time to really bring things to a natural conclusion. You know, the full moon, that's what it does. New moon starts things, full moon conclude things for a few weeks. And also it's a very good time to wind down projects and also end once and for all, maybe negative habits or addictions and bad relationships. My God, if there's a year this year to do this, it's now. Also, the big, big news, this Sunday, Mercury, planet of communication, right, this weekend, is in Taurus, and it starts its three-week retrograde. That's a big, big news. And uh, last week, also, Venus, planet of love, is also going backwards in Pisces, which is better than Aries, because Venus is the opposite. Venus is the ruler of Libra, so in Aries it's usually ooh, crazy, but it allows to go deeper in the well to really fix our clock, okay? So now it's also retrograding and it continues to help everything to do with relationship and love to mend and heal, so it's very helpful. The only thing that we could worry about this week is Saturday, Venus will make a fourth square this year with planet of wisdom Saturn. So more lessons to learn. And the universe, I mean, you know, one word or the other, everything in the universe grows to the light. So this is it, which can affect our self-esteem a little bit, confidence. It could bring also a tendency to be fighting in the love department. Oh my God, you have to avoid it because the results would not be good and it could be long lasting. It also brings obstructions and some challenges in the financial arena. So don't do anything without being very, very sure. So it's not really a good week to invest and take chances. You have to be very careful for the next three weeks and don't sign contracts either. The same day the sun will also square, that's not a good thing, with Pluto. That's the planet of world affairs and politics and deep transformation that can bring power struggles in our life and also in the government and world affairs. But it's okay. It's like, you know, the dark and the light meet and they negotiate and at the end the light will take over. Sunday, expect communications, travels, plans to be a bit wild and it's okay. Remember with Mercury, anything to do with surgery, anything to do with um, traveling, everything to do with business, it's always a little on the side wild. You have to be double cautious in everything you do. Friday, Uranus, planet of change and shocks and the sun have their once a year merger. So then again, honesty, integrity, diplomacy, kindness, compassion is definitely the law of the day. And I would say for the next three weeks. And guess what? Passover begins on Tuesday. So mazel tov to you, my beautiful Jewish friends. So let me start with you, Aries. Happy birthday to you. I love you. Mercury, retrograde in your financial sector makes you very smart and aware. 
At work, finish what you start. A family issue could be also on your mind, but new information that come your way definitely uh, bring you hope. Everything to do with home and family. The next two weeks should be quite busy, so make sure to keep yourself in shape, to do your exercise and eat good. And if you want to take care of your health and take initiative in this area now, you will do very well. On the weekend, recharge your batteries. Your magical color, orange, lucky numbers 10 and 19. And Taurus, even with Mercury retrograde in your sign, you feel invincible because remember Mars is with you now. Excellent time to communicate what you feel to family, parents, and siblings. In career, things can slow down, but your future really looks bright. At home, you are surrounded by caring people that inspire you and you're able to negotiate really in your favor. Research, getting new information, and also um, taking care of financial issues is very much blessed this week. Listen to the advice of a Cancer or a Leo. On the weekend, share your dreams. Your magical color, green, lucky numbers, 2 and 48. Gemini's, Mercury, your ruler, retrograde in your spiritual sector make you very wise. Also more confident, more quiet, more relaxed, determined to take care of yourself and also to do the right thing, to succeed. You get also new ideas across easily. You know, people, they listen to you. You have success with the public. This week brings unusual experiences that will enlighten your life. It will come from all kinds of places. You move mountains in career too. Funny conversations with friends and family members warm your heart, especially on the weekend. On the weekend, you definitely should pamper yourself too. Your magical color, yellow, lucky numbers, six and nine. Cancer, cancer, Mercury, retrograde in your social sector make you super intuitive, very creative, optimistic. Even though with Mercury retrograde, it sort of has a spiritual effect on you that is good. Get ready for more peace of mind, recognition, and also a pad on the shoulder for your accomplishments and your bravery. At work, good time to get organized and really make strategies for the future. The universe has your back, so take advantage. Health issues are definitely more stable. You're in a healing process. Just keep it up. Make sure that your dreams are truly what you want and express who you are. No concessions in career. Some lucky breaks also are definitely in the offering in that area. So just believe in yourself and look the part. On the weekend, dance with life. Look at your friends, the stars. Many, many times, just look out and look at your friends, the stars. They're talking to you these days. Your magical color pink, lucky numbers 3 and 27. Leo, Mercury retrograde in your career sector makes you very assertive and also generous of heart. You are surrounded by supportive people at work and good friends. Group activities sort of give you a little boost in the morale and it's rewarding. It's more smooth sailing in your domestic life as well. You get better along with your parents and the brothers and sisters. And at work, uh, more than ever, you will have pretty much to work hard but there'll be some different changes because Mercury retrograde. Just be flexible with people. Be patient, do things, you know, keep your pace and everything's gonna work out just fine because you're lucky these days. On the weekend, treat yourself to something special. You deserve it with all the courage and all the things you're doing with yourself, with your life, because I know you're working on becoming the best you could be, the queens and the kings of the Zodiac 2017 right? Your magical color gold, lucky numbers 2 and 11. Where it goes? Mercury, your master, retrograde in your karmic sector, bring you blessings, protection. Your intuition and intelligence also very strong. In career, you solve problems like a champion. You are the champion. Yes, you are. In love, you see the truth in your personal relationships like never before, and you're doing something about it. So whatever you do, Keep your heart and your mind separate. Do not mix those two. On the weekend, it's very jolly, very happy. Your magical color, turquoise, lucky numbers, 8 and 44. Now Libra, Mercury retrograde in your shared resources sector bring new good news in financial and domestic matters. Are you working on an important project? Are you taking care of business? Give it your 100% because your success is guaranteed. Actually, this whole Mercury retrograde will allow you to catch your breath. Great ideas also come to you, especially on Wednesday and Thursday. You have a good influence on other people. 
So when you speak, people listen. Publishing, business negotiation, health issues, health cures are favored. Expect appreciation in the love department as well, with friends too, in order we can surrender to love and tenderness. Your magical color, blue lucky numbers 1 and 37. Scorpios, Mercury retrograde in your relationship sector heightens your intelligence and wisdom. Stars give you answers and in the love department and also in health matters. Like I said last week, this is a time to be in the best shape possible because many beautiful things are coming your way and you have to look the part. A great time also to give a tune-up maybe to your soul and your body and your mind. In career, Play by the rules and also pay attention to your goals, investigate, establish your plans carefully. Strategy time. This is what it's all about this week. In social life, people find you irresistible, magical, and on the weekend, some discussions about philosophy, the occult, could be quite inspiring and also helping. Your magical color fuchsia, lucky numbers 4 and 13. Sagittarius, Mercury retrograde in your creative sector, bringing you ideas and a generous heart. You make a difference in the world, especially with your family. The focus is on personal relationships, your possessions, and also good investment. But then again, go slowly with anything with to do with money. In love, the answer to your question is don't make any concessions. Go for the real thing. Some happy coincidences in that department will amaze you. It will make you sort of see the light at the end of the tunnel and do the right thing for yourself. And the weekend, definitely expect tender moments. Cancer, Taurus, Gemini's definitely show they care. Your magical color, Fuchsia. Lucky numbers, 8 and 44. Ta-da! Capricorn, Capricorn, Mercury, retrograde in your home sector make you very generous. Powerful people rely on you all week. So give and you will receive. And will give you some kind of rewards within three weeks from now. So I know you may have to work hard, but it will pay off. Your intuition is very strong. The focus is also on taking good care of your health and also spending time with your family. A good time to spend also time with some friends you haven't seen for a long time. In career, you attract strong allies that support your goals all the way. You feel really on top of the game. And on the weekend, family and friends make you smile. You could organize a little dinner or something or a little party during the week or on the weekend. I think you will have a big success. People need it these days. And you're a very good host, right? On your magical color is silver, lucky numbers 5 and 41. Aquarius, Mercury, radio grade in your communication sector, sends tender messages your way. In love, a relationship is actually becoming more clear. You can make a decision this week about that. Are you going to move on with it or are you going to get settled? Some decision will be made and it's going to be the right one. You feel very safe and appreciated by your friends. A good time to push on creative projects, to really revamp your career. You are surrounded with very positive co-workers or authority figures that are helping you to succeed. Women are excellent company this week for you. Actually, the best company of all. On the weekend, open your ears and your eyes and pay attention to your surroundings because there's a surprise thing coming your way just like that. Now, your magical color is pink. Lucky numbers, 9 and 18. Spicy, spicy, smile. Life is full of surprises this week. Expect the unexpected. Mercury retrograde in your financial sector bring you awareness and also of what you're worth, your possession, what you want to do, how you can make money grow. You're going to be attracting people helping you with this. And somehow more than ever before, you are starting to take control of your life. I mean, everything is changing. You all Pisces are crossing from past to future, but it's all for the better. Push the boundaries on what you can do. Kindness and fairness is the key to your success in money and also in your private life and also in career. The focus is very much on accomplishments, of revamping your life and some breakthroughs in the work department. And also legal matters uh, may, need, may be a little challenging this week, but at the end of the day with good counsel, things will work out pretty good. On the weekend, do something fun and creative. Your magical color purple, lucky numbers 7 and 43. And now here's your wizard affirmation of this beautiful full moon week. If you are happy and you know it, surely your face will show it. 
<laughs> That's a song that was written a long time ago and I really like it. So just keep smiling and love yourself and tell yourself I'm beautiful. I'm not beautiful like you, but I'm beautiful like me and I love me. So on this note, have a wonderful time. Next week it's Easter, ta -da! and I'm going to be wearing my Easter bunny costume just for you. Be good now. Ciao.